Hello my friends, it's Elizabeth Finding Elizabeth and I'm a day late on my 2020 accountability check-in because I was really not feeling well yesterday. But even though I look like a hot mess, don't you love this hair? Isn't it crazy? That's what happens when I go to sleep with my hair wet. And my roots need to be done and all of a sudden it feels like my filler is falling out. But whatever, it is what it is. It is what it is. And here comes Dale Cooper because he has not seen y'all in a hot minute. Um, so starting weight, when I started my weight loss surgery process, 402 pounds, weight at surgery, 360.6 pounds, lowest weight, 198 for five seconds, uh, maintained at 208 to 212 for a couple years, maintained between 225 and 230 for, and two, 225, 235 for another probably two years. I'm almost six years post-op. And, um... Then had some regain this year as I'm, <laughs> I mean, it's part of the natural process, but I also think it's like fucking stress. I'm so stressed out about my family life at this particular moment. Um, just the part that's about my, my mother's moved into assisted living and it's very complicated and I'm the only one who's here. My brother's helped tremendously, but I may, um, yeah, it's not, it has not put me in a good headspace and it's continuing to not put me in a good headspace, but I guess that's my choice. I don't know. Anyway, so, um, I'm shooting for plastic surgery and I wanted to try to get off as much weight as I could before then. So I started 2020 with a plan and one of those, one piece of that was checking in with you guys weekly. So when I started the first of the year, I think I was two, uh, 48.7. Uh, where this is like my third week check-in. I am 244.2 today, so I've lost like 4.5 pounds. Is that it? 4.5 pounds. Most of that is this week. I had a weird uptick in weight last week, but anyway. That's where we're at. Um, uh, I just had a really... Wasn't feeling well. Was in a weird headspace. Um, feel myself... There's a mental mindfuck going on in my head that's quite significant right now. And, um, oh, and my necklace is on backwards. No, I have to have it right because it's a best friend's necklace. So, um, anyway, all up in my head, feeling like I'm beating up on myself. And I'm not just talking about, about food and weight and everything the way I used to, the way I haven't in a long time. And I need to sort of figure out a way out of that. But anyway, one of the things, <laughs> I still don't have a plastic state and I'm actually holding on submitting my deposit because I was having a conversation with some friends and thought about something. I used to have Kaiser insurance. I have Kaiser insurance again. When I had my weight loss surgery as of January 1st, I have Kaiser again. When I had my weight loss surgery um, at Kaiser, my surgeon said, because I was pretty significantly overweight and now of course I wish I would have pushed for RNY versus VSG which I didn't do uh, and he said you know if you don't lose the weight you want if you experience regain we can talk about revision so a couple years ago when I went in for a check I talked to them about it and they were like no you weigh less now than you did the last time you were here and I'm like yeah but that wasn't my low I mean I was 20 pounds lower than this and so now I'm up probably I think I'm, I'm probably up I was probably like 233 or something when I went to that appointment two years ago, and now I'm 244, so I'm up another 11 pounds. I'm at a weight that people sometimes still have weight loss surgery. They told me no when I went last time, but I didn't talk to the doctor. So this time I sent a message and I said, listen, this is what the surgeon told me. I am six years out. This is the weight I've kept off. I'm interested in it. He had said that we could consider a revision, so I would like to talk to him about that. And I haven't heard back, so I'm waiting to hear back from him I just did that today until I take the next step on the plastic surgery part but one or the other something's gonna happen <laughs> something's gonna happen I'm gonna get something done um, this year but so anyway I'm not in a great headspace I did the things I said I was gonna do some days I didn't do them other days so I'm not adding anything new because uh, I sort of sucked at it last week uh, but the things I'm working at weekly video Closing my apple rings, 
uh, premier protein prior to eating anything else, making sure I'm getting 80 grams of protein in. And I have to tell you that making sure I'm getting 80 grams of protein in has really helped me this week because it's making me think about my food in a different way again. And it's like, okay, if you want something that's not protein, uh, you need to wait till you get those 80 grams in. And so that's, that has really helped a lot. Anyway, that's where I'm at this week. Thanks to you guys for checking in. I mean, I told you if I didn't put out a Tuesday video to message me, and y'all did, and thank you. All right, I'll catch up again next week. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.